Hey everybody, Mo here, and today I'm bringing you guys another video. This is going to be five new decks to play in LOR with the new Darken expansion. Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to cap, I don't know the name of this expansion, I forgot what it's called. But, um, but yeah, Seraphine, Vayne, and Varus are the three new champions that got introduced. A bunch of new cards got introduced, so it uh, looks to be very fun and very cool. I got to play Early Access yesterday, um, played some of that, it was very fun. Um, and yeah, I can't wait to, you know, give you guys these decks that I enjoyed playing yesterday and have you guys try them out. We got, um, basically all new decks. So no, like last time I gave some decks that were basically old decks with a couple of new cards. This time I actually have like five different decks that have, you know, they all have the new champion and or new, a new champion in them. Um, and it's kind of like an interesting concept. Not all of them are like brand new concepts, but, uh, they're at least interesting concepts. But before we get into the video, I wanted to remind you guys that 68% of the people that watch my videos aren't actually subscribed to me. So if you guys could do me a huge, huge, huge favor, click that subscribe button, comment down below for the algorithm, all that type of stuff. We're really, really close to 8,000 subs. I think we're like 150 or like 200 subs off. So if you guys could do me a huge favor and help me out hit that number, that'd be amazing. I literally never thought I'd, I'd be where I am now with content creation when I was just doing it for fun a couple of years ago. So huge appreciation to you guys big thank you big thank you let's keep it up so that's gonna be it for the intro let's look at the decks let's look at these decks so first off we have seraphim master yi so this deck i really enjoyed um oh, also disclaimer none of these decks are going to be optimized so like if you spend a bunch of resources in them like if you're very limited on resources and you only want the best decks uh i'd say wait like a week to find out what that is uh, like wait for my next my meta monday that comes out on monday to find out what people have been playing what's been working for them uh, before investing you know if you're a limited resource like free to play type player uh, yeah none of these are going to be super optimized i literally played them for like you know six hours or something so don't expect too much but uh, yeah, Seraphine Master Yi. So this deck's really cool. Um, Seraphine is extremely easy to level. Uh, super, super easy to level. Um, and yeah, the idea behind this is kind of like Ez Karma, where you just kind of like value them out and then late game, you just have this like unstoppable force that your opponent can't deal with. That's basically Seraphine, except it comes on before turn 10. Like Seraphine is like Karma, but you don't have to wait till turn 10 to activate her. A lot of times you can level Seraphine on like turn six sometimes sooner um yeah and then you get to just like take huge advantage of like all of this uh, all the all the creative stuff um inspiring plants dark harpin mostly like inspiring plants is really good uh back alley bar i think is going to be like a little bait you probably don't need to play this but i do like um dragon collar as like a finisher so you have like dragon collar as a finisher yeah seraphine just outvaluing them you have master Yi as a finisher so yeah multiple ways to finish this game plus you have like uh reggie you can play like reggie you can play regina so you can generate like a bunch of random cards um yeah so very very cool this plays like the weapon master package so you get uh three mana will of ionia uh stuff like that so very cool um i like this deck a lot i think there's going to be a really good seraphine pnc deck i don't know what the champion splits are going to be i don't know exactly what cards it's going to play but um yeah i'm very uh very excited to see seraphine uh pnc Deck number two is Varus Vein, or sorry, uh, Varus Riven. So this was actually one of the more fun decks that I played. It's kind of like an OTK style deck, if you remember Fizz Riven, where you would basically just make your champions really big and then hit them. That's what this is. So Varus is kind of awkward in the sense that he's really hard to level up. Um, so I'm trying to think of like, okay, how do you level him up? What's the best way to level him up? What's the best way to target allies? And it's like, oh, you know, one mana spells that you get for free every, you know, every other turn, or sometimes every turn, depending on like, what your split is of uh spells and stuff so i was like oh riven sounds like pretty decent you know this was like uh anita helped me uh think of this deck also anita was like the main driving force behind it to be honest with you like he kind of he uh, like brought up the idea and i was like oh yeah that sounds pretty neat so that's kind of like where i landed on it um and yeah i think it's really solid i think you just like uh spend a bunch of spells to, like target it levels up your various you level up your riven very easily you make them both like super large and you have momentous choice um and nada we were playing a game um or i was playing the game that he was watching where i took riven from five i think it was like five damage to 19 with three spells or something so it was like um double momentous choice because i had leveled varus in play uh so double momentous choice gave you uh two four eight plus four is twelve yeah so it gives you plus twelve with just double momentous choice if you have leveled varus in play it gives you twelve damage 
or it's plus 12 attack not including riven's like double um uh, you know doubling of the her thing when she's leveled just momentous choice two of them is plus 12 attack at burst speed for two mana two mana plus 12 so pretty silly plus on top of that you get like uh spell shield backup so if your opponent tries to stun it or remove your unit you could just say haha spell shield to get fogged or if they do stun it this deck plays three ruin reckoner so you just say like haha okay ruin reckoner like still still attack you for a whole lot um so yeah so this deck's very cool i really like it i don't know how good it will be just because varus is really awkward taking away an entire region from you is very awkward and is not going to be worth it most of the time um but you know i think this probably i tried to make every champion work because i wanted to bring you guys new decks so this is the best deck i could find that fit varus in it number three is vein vein kane so i think this deck is extremely solid i think um i think you know i have some like meme cards in here like utter devastation just you know probably not going to be that good um i was trying the two single combats i will let you know uh triple fish fight is just insane like um i did this because i don't want to listen to you guys bitch about oh well fish fight is slow speed but i will tell you that in all of my versions i'm playing triple fish fight and zero single combats because fish fight is so broken it's like not even funny it's just two mana concerted strike and then you get to re-equip the weapon, which is like, yeah, it's so nuts. It, it is so crazy. So, because it lets you like move the weapon around if you need to. It lets you like pop this off and then you can just play it as the unit now if you need to. Um, yeah, Fish Fight is not a balance card. I'll let you guys know that much. Um, and obviously like, you know, I wanted more Momentous Choice, but I also wanted to try like more cards, but three Momentous Choice is probably gonna be right. I just, you know, wanted to try new cards basically um but yeah so this is a uh, vein cane the idea behind this is basically fish fight just levels your cane instantly uh, so you play cane you drag something you fish fight um so the way fish fight works is it pops off the cane weapon but your cane levels so it doesn't matter because it goes back to your hand and then you just play cane and it re-equips the weapon automatically um yeah you level cane extremely fast and then you end games with shadow uh this is actually the first deck where you're actively wanting to do shadow assassin cane um, because Shadow Assassin Kane plus Vayne closes games out insanely fast. Getting those free attacks every turn, you know, hitting your opponent for 7 and then hitting your opponent for 9 and then hitting your opponent for 11 is just going to, like, kill them insanely fast before they can even realize what's happening. Um, so that's the idea behind this. I think this deck is going to be extremely strong. Obviously, it's going to be a much better built version than what I have here. I am not a deck builder, so I just kind of threw cards together. But the concept is there for sure, and I think the concept is really good uh deck number four second to last deck is seraphina felios good old p and z um targon so again i could be playing some meme cards here like back alley barkeep but i think in all honesty all you really need is like reggie regina and you have a very solid core um i put back alley barkeeps because i think they're fun i put back alley bar again because i think they're fun um i don't they're probably not correct but fuck you i think they're fun <laughs> so that's why i put them in here um but yeah the idea behind this is so uh seraphine like insta levels ophelios basically well it's uh ophelios reads is you've played four plus moon weapons they don't have to be like the four different moon weapons or anything like that it just has four moon weapons so if you have a leveled seraphine and then you play a like calibrum or you play crescendum and it doubles the crescendum that's literally half of your aphelios level up and because you just played two uh two other cards because you know the copied cards now count as being played it will immediately get you that new uh card you just uh was that's not manifest what's it called um do, 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 phase it, it just immediately gives you the new card that you phased into so if you go like uh uh like crescendum into calibrum or crescendum into lifesteal or something like that then you literally instantly level your aphelios if you get a leveled seraphine which is pretty silly and then you just have like infinite aphelios value because you're playing aphelios and you have a leveled aphelios and he's pretty broken um yeah so it's it's really solid again you know i'm just gonna say this every time before you guys get mad at me and say well this deck sucks why don't you play this card why don't you play that card you know it's because i'm not a deck builder it's day day zero literally day zero okay give me a break so these are the cards i thought were fun these are the ways i had fun playing it on day zero and you know pre um what's it called like i don't know early access or whatever so yeah this deck's very very solid and last but not least is vade rumble so the idea behind this i think scrappy 
Heart to Palooza is really good. And I tested the interaction. If you discard Scrappy's, if you discard this landmark with Rumble, then Rumble will get the extra keyword when he enters play because the discard happens first. Um, so you will discard the stuff first and then the unit is like technically in play or something. I don't know why it works, but it does. So there was a game where I discarded like uh, Scrappy, Scrappy, and then I think it was like a Yordle Squire uh, token. And my Rumble got elusive. What did he get? He got elusive and something else. And I was just like, oh, okay, I guess I win. Because <laughs> he was just like quick attack, impact, spell shield, elusive. I think it was like faded or something like that. I don't know. Um, and yeah, so he just got like a bunch of a bunch of good keywords. Basically, elusive obviously is the high roll there. And then it plays the Mecha Yordle Makers. So um yeah it plays uh mechiorl makers and weapons so you can like discard the weapons here you can discard the conch spell discard the bomber twins discard the uh tiny spear whatever um yeah it's uh you basically just get a bunch of mechiorls give them random keywords hope that you get elusive on them and just like kind of win the game from there but that's gonna be it for this oh it was uh overwhelm that's what it was it was elusive it was quick attack impact spell shield elusive overwhelm 5-3 uh yeah pretty good oh five four my bad so pretty good unit if you ask me um but yeah that's gonna be it for this video i will have the deck list to all or the deck links to all of these videos down in the description below again like i really have to stress this these are not optimized these are just concepts so go optimize these um you know or just take the concept look at them say they're fun if you want to play the versions i play this is it but again i played this you know day zero without too much thought because i basically just wanted to get as much uh decks out for you guys as i can but i wanted you know the concepts are good the concepts of each of these decks are good it's just that the actual decks themselves are not going to be optimized and don't let anyone tell you that they have the best deck for day one because those don't exist and the best deck for day one is going to be a pre-built deck from last season it's going to be like pantheon fiora or something or lease and auction those are the best day one decks not any of these none there's not going to be a single new deck that is the best deck on day one um so don't let people you know trick you into wasting your resources or anything like that but that's gonna be it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it uh quick little update on the channel uh, for those of you uh, that might know some of you don't know uh basically i've been playing competitive lor again uh this last season i started back up i told everyone um, you know, I'm going to take LOR really serious this last season because um, I needed to qualify for Worlds. I needed to finish top 20 on ladder to qualify for Worlds. And then, you know, ideally I can carry off that momentum and then go into Worlds and try really hard and try and do well at Worlds. Um, update on that. I finished rank 18. So I qualified for Worlds through ladder. Played in seasonals. Top 32 seasonals. Top 8 in seasonals um actually it was very favored to win the entire seasonals um but had one bad matchup in top eight basically if the bracket went a little bit differently um basically if the top 16 went a little bit differently and i face a different opponent i'm pretty much favored to win the entire tournament um but yeah so things have been going pretty good since i came back and try hearted um but what that means is obviously you guys have probably noticed a big lack in content um it's really hard to grind lor and try hard lor for um you know multiple hours a day with like real practice and serious practice and actual like try hard which is something that a lot of people don't do um and it's really hard to do that and maintain a 40 hour week job and maintain a social life with you know the my girlfriend that i live with and um stuff like that and maintain a healthy lifestyle of like you know going to the gym eating well going on walks going outside stuff like that so uh this channel is not going to have the same you know five videos a week that it was having previous months um, but I will, uh, try and get at least three videos out a week to you guys. I'll try and get Meta Monday every week. I will get Sweaty Thursday every week because I know you guys love those series and those are very helpful. And also I'll try and get like one deck guide in or one type of gameplay video in. So ideally I'll have videos for you guys on like Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and you guys can get three videos a week. And that should still give you enough time to, you know, have a life, do my, uh, like actual work job and commit time to, you know, becoming a better player and, preparing for world championship and hopefully participating in worlds and you know all that type of good stuff so i appreciate your guys patience i appreciate you guys hanging with me through this sorry again that i can't get you guys as much content as i want to get you i just straight up don't have the time for it it's just not physically possible um and i hope you guys understand it i appreciate you guys but that's gonna be it for this video um again like comment subscribe all that stuff for youtube algorithm extremely close to 8,000 subscribers really really appreciate it i'll see you guys in the next video